Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anshu Sharma, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Maharaja Agrasen University. Today, I'm going to give presentation on the topic, nanomaterials and their applications. What are nanomaterials? The materials having one exterior dimension between one to 100 nanometer are known as nanomaterials. Nanomaterials can be made by combustion processes, they can occur naturally or they can be purposely manufactured through engineering to carry out a specific function. Nanomaterials may differ from their bulk form counterparts in terms of their physical and chemical characteristics. Nanomaterials are already used in our day-to-day -day lives. Examples range from titanium dioxide mineral nanoparticles in our sunscreen and self-cleaning surfaces to mobile, pigment nanoparticles injected into soldiers, uniforms to improve camouflage, to baseball bats made from carbon nanotubes. Car nanomaterials are used in a wide range of sectors from healthcare and cosmetics to environmental remediation, and air purification, since they may be produced in a precise man uh, manner to perform a particular function. Here in this diagram, we can see uh, the three different scales of the materials. Uh, first one is the nanomaterial, that is the smallest one uh, in blue color that range from one nanometer to 100 nanometer, and it includes the nanoparticles, small molecules, just like water, atoms, DNA helix, and uh, electronic devices, etc. And uh, the middle one you see, uh, micrometer scale that uh, range from 100 nanometer, above 100 nanometer to 100 micrometer. And it includes human hairs, bacteria, blood cells, etc. And the largest scale is the macro scale, macro material that includes grain of sand, volleyball, eurocoin, etc. And next is classification of nanomaterials. Nanomaterials can, can be classified as natural and artificial nanomaterials based on the origin of the materials. Natural nanomaterials um, include your minerals that is clay, natural uh, collides like blood, milk, etc., fog, aerosol type, gelatin, gel type, bone, hair, and uh, DNA helix, etc. These, all these are the examples of natural nanomaterials. The second one is the artificial nanomaterials. They include carbon nanotubes, semiconductor nanoparticles like quantum dots, buckyballs, polymeric micelles, liposomes, and uh, artificial DNA nanostructures, nanospheres, nanocomposites, nanotubes, etc. All these are the examples of artificial nanomaterials. Second classification is based on the dimensions of the material. Uh, on the basis of dimensions, nanomaterials are uh, classified as zero dimensional. They include nanoparticles, fullerenes, etc. And uh, in one dimensional nanostructures, we have nanotubes, nanohorns, etc. And in two dimensional nanostructures, we have nanosheets, nanolayers. In three dimensional nanostructures, we have nanowires, and arrays, and nanotubes, etc. Composition like carbon, metal, semiconductor, metal oxide, polymer, lipid nanomaterials. They are nanoparticles, they will be nanotubes, nanofilms, and nanocomposites. Slight dimensionality, zero dimensional greater than 100 nanometer, one dimensional greater than 100 nanometer, two dimensions, uh, nanofilms are in two dimensional range that is greater than 100 nanometer, and three dimensional nanocomposites, etc. Next is properties of nanomaterials. The nanomaterials have various properties, they change when scale of the size uh, reduces to nanoscale. And uh, the 
various properties like mechanical properties, thermal properties, melting point, optical properties, magnetic, electrical, chemical properties, catalytic properties. In mechanical properties, we have stiffness, strength, hardness of the material, electrical property, electrical conductivity, resistivity, etc., permeability, permittivity, etc., uh, susceptibility and permeability. In magnetic properties, optical, we have uh, reflectivity, transmittivity, absorptivity, emissivity, etc., thermal heat capacity, thermal expansion, com con thermal conductivity, etc., in chemical properties we have toxicity reactivity inflammability oxidation state etc next is synthesis of nanomaterials nanomaterial uh, synthesis include two types of approaches we have top down approach and bottom up approach in the top down up, up approach and here in this diagram we can see the large molecule uh, large materials are reduced to nanoscale size with unique properties. And in the bottom up um, approach, uh, this is the process of building more complex materials from the smaller components, the material just like atoms. In top down methods, uh, we have ball milling. Lithography, gas condensation, severe plastic deformation methods. Uh, An advantage of this top down method is versatility, naturalization, precision, reproducibility, batch fabrication capabilities. These are the advantages of top down method. Bottom up approach includes uh, various methods, it includes physical vapor deposition, chemical vapor deposition, plasma process, soil gel process soft lithography, self-assembly, etc. Advantages of this method is unique biomolecular control, biomimetic behavior, create materials with sophisticated properties and unique functionality, enable devices to create automatically through self-assembly. Next is synthesis of nanomaterials using natural sources. Uh, nowadays, uh, the eco-friendly approach is the green root or green chemistry of nanomaterials that includes natural sources like flowers, roots, fruits, leaves, and uh, bacteria, algae, fungus, yeast, etc. All these can be used for the synthesis of nanomaterials. This is the this reduces the toxicity of the chemical compounds. And uh, here we show the process of um, synthesis of green nanoparticle, biological extracts. Firstly, we have, and they will be added to the metal solution. And uh, here we can reduce the reduction uh, reaction. Here we can adjust the pH of the material, temperature, pressure, et cetera. And after stabilization, after capping, we get the synthesized green nanoparticle. Now, applications of nanomaterials in various fields. Nanomaterials can be used in health sector, biomedical applications for renewable energy, for environmental remediation, energy storage, for construction on materials, food packaging and processing in agriculture, we can use the nanomaterials. In food industry, nanoparticles like silver mixed with polymers are used to enhance the quality of food packaging material, thereby increasing its cell, uh, shelf life, making it last longer and taste better. Furthermore, smart packaging through which biological changes occurring in the food are detected is also one of the significant applications of nanotechnology. Keeping in mind the assurance of food safety, various applications of nanotechnology are involved in agriculture and agribusiness. The importance of nanotechnology in food processing can be evaluated by considering its role in the improvement of food products in terms of food texture, food appearance, food taste, nutritional value of the food, and food shelf life. In automobile industry, automobile industry has seen a 
shift in the past decade every now and then new four and two wheeler models are launched which work on extra edge technology this is another industry where application of nanotechnology on various polymer nano composites like natural rubber organic clay have been used in tires to make them abrasion resistant Furthermore, adding nanoparticles like tungsten nanospheres to car fluids has enhanced their mechanical properties. In electronic devices, with the advancement in the technology, we have shifted from bulky television sets and mobile phones to sleek TV sets and smartphones. Moreover, with the use of nanomaterials like graphene, thin lightweight, better quality TV screens, which also consume less power. In medicine, various treatments and medicines for chronic diseases like cancer, brain tumor, etc., have severe side effects on the patient. For this, nanoparticles are being utilized wherein the drug will be targeted to the infected cells instead of the whole body. Apart from this, a wide range of nanomaterials is being used to enhance the efficiency of imaging devices. Medicine and applications of nanotechnology are not only restricted to the aforementioned areas, but also are also seen in gene therapy, wound treatment, etc. Next is improving air quality. Deteriorating air quality has become a global issue and for this nanomaterials are being used extensively on one hand, membranes coated with nanomaterials like graphene oxide are being used to separate pollutants from the air, while on the other hand, research is being conducted to improve the efficiency of catalysts, which can help in minimizing the effect of air pollutants from industrial plants, cars, air conditioners, etc. Such catalysts which are made up of nanoparticles provides a large surface area for the chemicals to react. Enhancing water quality, this is one of the best applications of nanotechnology where unique nanoparticles are used to filtration membranes to improve the quality of the water by removing chemical and industrial waste, such as TCE, from the river and groundwater, using nanotechnology for purification of water is highly effective and comparatively cheaper. Space science, another domain where applications of nanotechnology is visible is space science and research. Apart from making the outer structure of satellites durable and lightweight, using materials like CNT carbon nanotubes, Research is also being done on how to spend spacecraft with less of fuel. In chemical sensors, using nanomaterials like zinc oxide nanowires, carbon nanotubes, as well as palladium nanoparticles, various sensors have been designed which can easily detect even the smallest amount of hazardous chemicals. This has been made possible as electrical properties of these materials enhanced at the nano level. Textiles and fabrics. To make a piece of cloth wearable, wrinkle and odor free across seasons, specialized fabrics with nano sized silver and titanium particles are being used. This has led to the production of lightweight, thin, and breathable fabrics. The other application of nanotechnology is in the industry, includes making fabric stain resistant and improving durability. Thank you.